News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Just recently, we had sunset at this time. Now it is dark all across the first coast. The next time we will see a sunset around 646 or later, we have to wait till March when we spring forward again. So the sun has set and temperatures are falling quickly now that we don't have that sunshine. We are sitting in the 60s in most places, but a few spots popping up in the 50s already. So quickly dropping now and we will continue to see those temperatures fall all the way until early tomorrow morning. Tonight lows will be right around 47 degrees depending on where you are. Now similar to this morning, those of you along the coast likely staying in the 50s, but inland will see a lot of spots drop down into the 40s with clear skies, calm conditions. Then on our Monday after the chilly start, it becomes a really nice day. Tomorrow is very similar to today where a lot of us start off in the 40s, but then we warm up into the upper 80s and we'll have a good bit of sunshine tomorrow as well. So really it is going to be a beautiful Monday. Something we'll still be watching the possibility of flooding at times of high tide along the St. Johns River. That's mainly for places like Riverside, San Marco, all the way down through Putnam County. That coastal flood advisory continues until 5 a.m. on Tuesday as of right now. So your next high tide for a lot of you will be Monday morning, early Orange Park, 620 a.m. and then in the nine o'clock hour through Putnam County. So again, minor flooding possible at times of high tide for those areas. Then we are going to continue to warm up. So tomorrow is similar to today, but by Tuesday, I think most of the area hitting the 80s and we don't stop there. Highs rise into the middle 80s by the end of the work week. It's well above average because normally we're right near 76 degrees this time of year. In fact, by Friday, we could potentially tie or break a record high with a forecast of 84 degrees. That is the record high for November 10th, which was set four different years here, but still something to watch that we might tie it. We might even break it. Who knows? We'll have to see. Either way, it is much warmer than what's normal for this time of year. Not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. Looks like some high pressure dominating. Rain chances stay very low. Winds will switch to come out of the south, so we might have an isolated shower with rising humidity. So by the way, as it gets warmer, it also gets more humid and we'll keep an eye on a cold front that will take aim at us later on into the weekend. Again, look at the tropics. No tropical development expected within the next seven days. A beautiful sight when we have a quiet Atlantic. No tropical threats to us. We're going to keep an eye on tropical storm Pilar out in the Pacific, but it's also not a threat. It will likely dissipate. We talked about this yesterday, but now I have to show it because it's exactly 50 days till Christmas. If you have not gone Christmas shopping yet, I know the weather doesn't make it feel like you have to, but just keep in mind it's actually only 50 days away, even though we will be sitting in the middle 80s with near record heat on Friday.